What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Black Atlas Goings On. My name is Kenny, aka Black Atlas. You know y'all are starting to say that with me. And today we're doing a little bit something different. We are doing something that I've seen a lot of recipes do with bologna online, uh, where they take the bologna out of the package, they season it up, and then they put it in the smoker. So I'm actually going to do that with a little ham and then uh, planning on maybe making some uh, ham and cheese sliders later on. Um, if I do that, that'll be another video, but we'll see. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to get it out of the package and get it dried off. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, it's out of the package. Let's get it dried off. All right, it is all dried off. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to put some slits in here, down and across, however you feel comfortable, however many you feel comfortable putting in there. Uh, they do that with the bologna. It's usually about an inch or an inch and a half. So that's what I'm going to do. Since the ham actually has lines, I'm going to do it every two lines on the ham. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go across. And that's basically so the rub and that extra flavor can get inside the meat as well. So, now that that is all done, we are going to be using yellow mustard as a binder. Not a lot, just to make it a little bit wet again so that the rub will stick. All right, we'll go ahead and get the bottom seasoned. And now the seasonings I'm going to use, using Killer Hogs, Malcolm Reed's All Purpose, which is his uh, salt, pepper, garlic. I'm using Heath Riles Garlic Jalapeno. Give it a little bit of a kick. Kinder's caramelized onion butter. And Meat Church's gospel barbecue rub. Okay, now the second side is covered with mustard. Let's go ahead and get the seasoning on there. All right, and I'm going to let that sit there on the aluminum foil while I get the smoker heated up to 250. Okay, the smoker is up to temperature. The smoke is starting to roll some nice clean smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ham and get it put on there. All right, that ham is gonna be on there for about two hours at 250. So we'll see y'all when it's time to take it out. Okay, so the ham is done in the smoker. I'm about to go out there and grab it and bring it in and we'll show it to you before we slice into it. Okay, here is the ham fresh out of the smoker. You can see that as it cooked, those slices that I made into it opened up. So we're going to let this cool for a couple minutes, and then we're going to go ahead and get that taste test in. Okay, so we got the ham. We got a few slices done, and it has cooled down a little bit. So let's go ahead 
and cut off a piece and get that taste test in. And for those of y'all that wondered, uh, the temperature was roughly around 170 degrees. Uh, because if you remember when we pulled it out of the package, it was already fully cooked. We put yellow mustard on there uh, as a binder, and then we put some seasonings on there. And then we put it in the smoker. It's been in there about two hours. Then we let it rest for about 10 minutes to cool down a little bit, sliced it up, and let's go ahead and taste it. You can actually see a little bit of a smoke ring on there. Down on the bottom. So, let's go. Mmm. Alright, so it tastes pretty good. I like it. Uh, next time, I think I might do a sweeter rub on there instead of the savory rubs and see how it turns out. But until the next video, I have been Kenny, a.k.a black atlas and make sure you like share comment subscribe it doesn't cost you anything but it helps out the channel and it helps get us out there in front of more faces so until the next video i'll catch y'all on the flip side